Hi friends, today I wanted to get to work on our covered wagon. Covered wagon is a kind of vehicle that people used to use in early America to get across the grasslands. It has like, like a, a, a wooden part, a wooden wagon on the bottom, and then it's covered with a big piece of cloth. Um, so we're gonna try to make one of our own. So what I have is I'm repurposing my guitar box because I'm not very good at playing guitar, so I thought I could move on to a better use. So I have my box, um, any you know little piece of cardboard or, or anything like that would work. I have four circles for the wheels, and I have a thin piece of cardboard that can bend to use for the top, okay? I'm waiting to see if my hot glue gun is turned on and off. Uh, Mom and Dad can help you with a hot glue gun if you want. Um, or if you want to try it on your own, you can use white glue. You just have to be careful and hold them down a little tighter because it'll take a bit longer for them to dry. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to put the wheels on. Awesome, there's that one. You guys remember why we don't touch the hot glue gun? Why we let our grown-ups do it? Because it's hot, right? You don't want to get burned. I've been using it all day and I burnt myself a couple times and I'm a grown-up. So we're gonna put our wheels on our wagon. Have you guys ever taken a hay ride like in the back of a tractor? That's what this always reminds me of. Okay, it's got our wheels on. Yay! Ready to drive. Okay, so for this part, I need to take a minute and get another glue stick in here. So for this next part, we're gonna put glue along the sides and then we're gonna bend the cardboard over the top to make the cover on the wagon. Do you know what kind of animals would pull a covered wagon? Hmm. Horses, maybe donkeys, any type of bovine, cow, anything like that, that has big strong muscles. So, let's see if our glue gun's ready. Oops, having some technical difficulties. Like I said, if you're using white glue, that's fine. You're just gonna have to hold it down a little bit longer. So, no problem. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and bend it. Okay, since this part is curved, I have to hold it down a little longer too. There we go. Okay, so now that you have your wagon made, if you want, you can draw on it or paint it. Um, I think I'm probably gonna paint mine. I'll see if I have enough paint left over. But you can decorate it and then you can play with it. Okay, oh no! After we make sure it's glued on properly. <laughs> okay guys, thanks, I'll see you later.